Megan woke new fight. Hollywood shut Meg out as she made Quentin Tarantino furious with her podcast. The Duchess of Sussex has been warned that waging a woke war on Hollywood could backfire with disastrous consequences for her and Prince Harry's own TV and film production company. The Duchess of Sussex denounced toxic Asian stereotypes in her most recent Archetypes podcast. Megan, with her guest actress Margaret Cho, journalist Lisa Ling, and sociologist Nancy Yuen, broke down the dragon lady stereotype, citing Lucy Liu's character, Oren Ishii, in Kill Bill, and a pair of twins called Fook Me and Fook You in Goldmember. She is upsetting people by criticizing 20-year-old classic films that are based on today's new woke morals, and she isn't exactly endearing herself to studios that she and Prince Harry would expect to do business with, a studio boss told media. The studio boss also said, if she continues, she would be playing with fire, and that could have disastrous consequences for their company, Archwell. Last week, Lilibet's mother attacked the 2002 Austin Powers film Goldmember for sexual tokenism of Asian women on a Spotify podcast called The Demystification of Dragon Lady. Later, the Duchess turned her ire toward the 2003 Kill Bill, in which Lucy Liu plays a villainous crime gang boss, calling it an example of the destructive dragon lady Asian stereotype. The Duchess fumed. Movies like Austin Powers and Kill Bill presented these characters of Asian women as over-sexualized or aggressive. And it's not just these two examples. There are so many more. The dragon lady, the East Asian temptress whose mysterious foreign allure is scripted as both tantalizing and deadly, but this toxic stereotyping of women of Asian descent, it doesn't just end when the credits roll, she continued. Lucy herself had already pushed back claims that her role was a stereotype in an op-ed she wrote in 2021. Kill Bill features three other female professional killers, in addition to Ishii. Why not call Uma Thurman, Vivica A. Fox, or Daryl Hannah a dragon lady? I can only conclude that it's because they are not Asian. I could have been wearing a tuxedo and a blonde wig, but I still would have been labelled a dragon lady because of my ethnicity. If I can't play certain roles because mainstream Americans still see me as other and I don't want to be cast only in typically Asian roles because they reinforce stereotypes, I start to feel the walls of the metaphorical box we AAPI, or Asian American and Pacific Islander women stand in, Lucy said. Well put. Carrie Ann Inaba had defended her character Fook Yu, saying, I thought it was a really funny role. I think we must be able to laugh at ourselves. Comedian Leo Kurse had a similar take. Nobody thinks the portrayals of Asians in these films have any bearing on real life. What's she going to complain about next? Meanwhile, the Quentin Tarantino fan club called Megan a fool and urged her to revisit Kill Bill, adding Lucy Liu machos and kills bad men. She's a strong woman. Harry's wife's hypocrisy was also called out by Twitter users. Well, she was a caricature of a woman lawyer, over-sexualized, aggressive, and deceptive, one said. She's never had a problem taking her underwear off on TV, though, has she? Remarked another.